Hello everyone, my name is Clancy and welcome to my YouTube channel. So without further ado, let's get into today's video because I've been getting some DMs from many of you saying, Hey Clancy, what do you think about the suspension of two judges in the Pretoria High Court? And I was like, there are judges that are suspended by Ramaphosa. And lo and behold, I come across a News 24 article, which the headlines is Ramaphosa suspends Senzo Meiwa judge and another for failing to deliver judgments on time. And in my mind, I'm thinking, I remember doing a video about this matter, particularly the judge. And I had said without uh, any uh, doubt that this judge is going and I don't think that uh, the purpose is about his delaying of judgments because how many other judges out there that are exactly as this judge and so I think maybe there is a technicality or a technical problem in the Senzo Meiwa case and the fact that he has also fought with one of the senior counsel uh, in the past and of course his attitude overall regarding the matter that was before him him, and I always had a problem with that judge, even though I've never said anything, because this particular channel was not about that. You guys know that my channel is about YouTube related matters that you guys, some of you have seen me drop videos about. So I, I wasn't talking about the Senzo Mewa case because I had given up on the case as far back as 2014, when I realized that this case was not going to go anywhere, considering the fact that People who are powerful and with money and with connections in the governing party may want to see this matter swept under the carpet and the rest of South Africa forget about it and then move on. Unfortunately for them, South Africans, because I think Senzo Meiwa was also uh, the captain of Bafana Bafana and the captain of Orlando Pirates, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not a soccer person, but I think, yeah, he was some kind of a hero in the Orlando Pirates uh, the soccer team. So, of course, there his fans, his supporters, and the supporters of the soccer club, as well as the Meiwa name itself, they were not going to let this one go. And, of course, many South Africans, as a result, were like, uh-uh, no ways. There's no way you're going to let this one go. And it just kept dragging on and on and on and on. And I had made a prediction as far back as 2014 uh, on my... Um, Facebook page which I no longer use as far back as 2015 and I said this, that this matter was not going to go anywhere uh, especially after I discovered that the crime scene was tampered with it was cleaned and and you had the Hawks guy there who had no business being there and then from there we kept getting promised that every Christmas they were going to make an arrest since 2016 I think uh, by Christmas uh, by Christmas uh, by Christmas and by Christmas came how many Christmases that, that came and gone and no arrests were made and out of the blue we have four people that is it four or three that stand accused of being Senso Mayo's killers. In my mind, I'm thinking, I don't think so. I don't think so. There are seven people that were in that house and they know who the shooter is. And I still believe that it was accidental, the killing. It was not meant to be. Somebody played with the gun and the gun went off and it hit Senzo Meiwa and unfortunately he passed on. And because probably the gun may have killed before and the owner might find himself in prison and as a result had to come together and put heads together with the people that were in that house and said, guys, you got to protect me and my child. Otherwise, I'm going to go to jail for a very long time because that gun Senzo Mayo is not the first one to be killed by it. I'm not saying that's the fact. I'm just rubbing my two eye kills together and I'm just thinking that there's a possibility that that gun was already dirty. It had blood on it. And so, accidental or not, that gun was still going to lead to the fact that it may have been found in other crime scenes of murder. So anyways, let me uh, read the article, what it says so there are like little summaries where President Ramaphosa has suspended two judges for failing to deliver numerous reserved judgments in the stipulated time frame. Oh my goodness. I think if I'm not, um, uh, what do you call this, mistaken, I think a judge is given about three months to deliver a judgment of a case they were sitting on or presiding on for the past months or even years. I think it's three years. I mean, three months. I'm not quite sure. Do, uh, do correct me if I'm wrong there. Uh, both judges cited health challenges and family responsibilities as reasons for delays. 
I think the second judge is a collateral damage. I think the target here is the judge in the Senzo Meiwa case rather than the other one. The other one just so happened to be as lazy as the other one, allegedly. One of the suspended judges is currently presiding over the Senzo Meiwa murder trial and will be allowed to finish it. Hmm? And will be allowed to finish it? Uh, well suspended is that what i'm understanding or maybe they meant to say will not be allowed to finish it because as far as i'm concerned the senzo mewa case is a mistrial i think the judge president of the north houten high court needs to just come out to the media and say guys the senzo mewa trial is a mistrial and we're going to start all over again with a new judge and all those witnesses that already took the stand will have to be uh subpoenaed recall whatever the case might be so that they can start this case from afresh basically the trial and if there is a mistrial what's going to happen to the three accused are they going to be granted bail they go out there and get themselves i don't know maybe continue with the lawyers that uh that's already representing them or whatever the case is so i would like to know what's the process from this point on are they going to start like a fresh fresh and then if they do start afresh are the accused going to be granted bail and if they are granted bail on the grounds of what basically that whole shenanigan once a mistrial is been declared what happens thereafter are they going to get rearrested whatever please somebody out there come and educate us i would be very interested to know. So basically the story goes, Cyril Ramaphosa has suspended Houten High Court judges Chifitwa Maumela and Nomonde Nkubisa Tusi uh, while a judicial commission tribunal considers complaints that they fail to deliver numerous reserve judgments within stipulated time frame. The Judicial Service Commission, JSC, confirmed to News 24 on Thursday that the president suspended the two judges following a recommendation by the commission in April. News 24 previously reported that the JSC met twice to consider the reports, the reports of the Judicial Conduct Committee relating to complaints, complaints against the two judges. The JSC decided that the failure to deliver the reserve judgment if established, will Prima Faki indicate incapacity, gross incompetence, and gross misconduct on the part of the judges, taking into account the extent of the delay and the pre prejudice suffered by the affected parties, a statement by the JSC said. As a result of the JSC request that Chief Justice Raymond Zondo appoint a tribunal to consider the complaints and ask Ramaphosa to place both judges on suspension pending the outcome of the tribunal process. The uh, Maumela and I'll just say Tusi, I'm so sorry, I'm butchering her first um, surname, uh, while, uh, maiden name, I think, while being allowed to finalize all matters that are present before them. Maumela is presiding over the Senzo Mayo murder trial. Complaints against Maumela and uh, Tusi. According to the report by the JCC, the complaint against Maumela by Gauten High Court Judge President Dunstan Mlambo on 16 October 2020 stems from several outstanding judgments dating back to 2018. Wow, this guy. At the time of the complaint, Maumela had not delivered judgments in three cases dating back to 8 August 2018, 16 August 2018, and 17 September 2018. Justice delays, justice denied, sir. In his written representation to the JCC, Maumela said he had since handed down the three judgments. There were a further nine matters, but judgment had since been with, uh, handed down in each of them. Those matters saw judgments being handed down between seven and 22 months after the cases were heard. Maumela reserved judgments. Yo, when he says Sini D, it really means Sini D. Basically, Sini D means indefinitely. He, uh, he is said to have admitted that the judgments were unduly delayed, explaining that delays were caused by challenges he experienced with his health and family responsibilities. This is why I always say that 
if you know you're no longer fit and proper, please, can you step down? Because you are affecting a lot of people's lives when you no longer feel that you are fit and proper to do a job that involves people's lives. Meanwhile, Tusi failed to hand down several judgments within the period set for the reservation of judgment. A total of 20 judgments were outstanding at the time of the complaint against her. I changed my mind. She's not a collateral damage, this one. She was downright incompetent. Those judgments were delayed by between 6 and 27 months, y'all. Shouldn't this be like a crime? By the time the complaint was heard on 12 June 2021, six more delayed judgments with an average delay of nine months had been brought to the attention of the judge president. This is crazy. This is insane. Can you imagine if you expected a judgment, all those distresses and stressing and worried and hoping and, and imagining, oh gosh. Her reasons for the delays were also family responsibilities and health challenges, challenges she faced. This is crazy, y'all. That's the end of the article. I cannot believe that these judges, this is what they were doing. I still think the time frame is three months after presiding of a matter. Then you hand, over, you hand down judgment. So when they range as far up to 27 months, no ways. That is so crazy to me. So yeah, I think they're well deserved to be suspended. I think at some point they need to go. If they are unhealthy, then what's the point of being on the bench? Because you are affecting negatively people's lives. Whether the person who is brought before a court is a criminal or is a civil matter, can you imagine the execution order? Um, that um, What I'm trying to say, if it's, let's say it's a company that uh, is uh, taken to court, can you imagine it's, uh, the, what do you call this, it's execution, daily operations, how they are affected by the fact that a judgment is being withheld and I can, I'm, I'm also wondering if those companies ever try to apply for an execution order so they are able to do their day-to-day -day work while they are awaiting a judgment. I'm very interested to hear if indeed there were companies that were part of these judgments that were being delayed as far up to 27 months. That is crazy to me. Oh my goodness, that's crazy to me. And, and, and you know when you watch the Senzo Mayewa case at the trial, you're like, um, this Zandi Kumala girl made an application to have her side of the story told in private, meaning that nobody must be present in court or cameras for that matter, because she evoked her constitutional rights of privacy, which I kind of like agree is that as a witness, you can ask uh, the court if you can testify in private you do have that right it's a constitutional right but I know this I angered a lot of people thinking what kind of princess privilege is this everybody was um, was uh, uh, testifying in public and why you want your testimony to be in private well she does have that right by the way sorry to tell you and uh, it took the judge three days because that sort of application is a matter of Probably when the applicant is done uh, giving the reasons as to why they want to uh, have the testimony in private, then you make a judgment immediately. It's like a one day, not even a one day, probably like once the, 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 the witness is done making representations, then you make a judgment. It's not a matter of, okay, I'm going to reserve the judgment, maybe CNED. Because clearly, he says sine D in all of his judgment, means, meaning that he reserves his judgments indefinitely. So now it takes three days to make a judgment whether the witness is going to, uh, uh, to be testifying privately or in public. That didn't make sense to me. But at the same time, you look at him and you're like, you sure you're a judge? Are you sure you're doing a job you always wanted? Maybe you were great as a lawyer, but the problem is when you were appointed by the president to be the judge of a high court, that probably you were like, I'm being dragged, screaming, screaming and kicking on this job. If you don't like a job, then don't take it. If you think this job is too much for you, then don't take it.
if you fall ill on the job, then make a decision. Am I going to be competent and deliver judgment as per my um, time frame to deliver these judgments? Or I'm just going to uh, think about me. I come first and therefore I resign from the bench and I'm just going to go home, take care of myself and my family. That's, is that too hard to ask for? Oh, you must be dragged screaming and kicking. But at the same time, this is a sense of me, a case that I still think was messed up from the get-go. And uh, even with the new trial, I doubt that we are going to get anywhere unless the judge that is going to be appointed or assigned to this case will uh, follow thorough um, investigative principles and basically law of evidence and um and if he thinks that the people that are brought before the court are not the right people bring me the correct accused that we might see this case over within two weeks or three weeks but because it's going to start from scratch i think by the time we get to that point it will be probably three months down the line i don't know that's just my prediction i don't know it could even be the first week uh, this case might get dismissed, uh, not dismissed, it will be struck off the roll, and then, <clears throat> and probably the judge is going to make remarks like, the people that know who killed Senzo Meiwa are the people that were present in that house. Those seven people are the people that know who killed Senzo Meiwa. Those are the people that should be on the dock, and I agree. I think that is what that judge needs to say. And let these people that are falsely accused I can say that without apologizing that those people that are in the dog are incorrect people. These are people who were grabbed from the streets and said, okay, you're going to take this straight bullet for us because as the police, we messed this case and we are embarrassed. And so to, uh, to save face, we're going to make arrest and accuse those people because they're criminals anyways. I don't know if they are. But anyways, that is my thoughts about this entire saga, especially with the new developments that two judges have been suspended by Cyril Ramaphosa for not handing down judgments as per the time frame that all judges are given. I think it's three months. I still think it's three months. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Anyways, if you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't like this video, give it a like anyway. And also leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this mess. Do you think uh, Senzo Mayo case is a dismiss, uh, a mistrial? And where to from here? I'm very much interested to hear your own thoughts. Rub your own, IQ, uh, rub your own two IQs together and let's have a discussion there. And uh, please do subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And welcome to everybody that has subscribed to this channel. There are two topics that I discuss on the channel. It is YouTube-related matters and, of course, the recent cases. The cases that are happening in real time, I come on my channel and then we have a discussion about it we analyze we uh talk about it of course none of anything that i say is the fact it's just things that i am reliant on on what i observe from the television and the newspapers and uh try to make sense of these sort of things of course some of the my thoughts may be far-fetched or overreaching that's just me and my opinion because this part of the channel is the public gallery. And the public gallery, we talk everything that we have observed, heard, and seen uh, on these cases. But anyways, um, do share this video far and wide, and I'll see you next time with a new video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.